love to live in Britain. And there is a limit to the amount of immigration any country can and should take. While we must fulfill our moral duty to help people in desperate need, we must also have an immigration system that allows us to control who comes to our country. Because when immigration is too high, when the pace of change is too fast, it's impossible to build a cohesive society. It's difficult for schools and hospitals and core infrastructure like housing and transport to cope. And we know that for people in low paid jobs, wages are forced down even further, while some people are forced out of work altogether. But even if we could manage all the consequences of mass immigration, Britain does not need net migration in the hundreds of thousands every year. Of course immigrants plug skills shortages, and it's right that we should try to atta attract the best talent in the world. But not every person coming to Britain right now is a skilled electrician, engineer or doctor. The evidence from the OECD, the House of Lords Economic Affairs Committee and many academics shows that while there are benefits of selective and controlled immigration, at best, the net economic and fiscal effect of high immigration is close to zero. So there is no case in the national interest for immigration of the scale we have experienced over the last decade. 